What is up guys? We are back with the Pokemon Emerald Let's Play guys with the scrub a dub dubs. Guess what guys? It is 8th gym time. We are now able to enter the 8th gym to take down Leader Wan. Let's just make sure Minon is out front and he is. Let's get down to it. Let's head into this gym. All right, we got Whiskash carrying us over here, and we're going to pop right in. There is a little bit of a puzzle, if I remember correctly. Yes, with the ice in this gym. Let's see if I remember how to do it. Um, it has been a while since I've done this. Now, I think for the most part, you just got to use your common sense here. Now, you don't want to do the one next to us because we won't be able to get up the steps. So we want to go around. do -si do up there. I think this part is the tough part but I don't even think it's that bad if you just use your common sense here just try to knock out every single one as you go yep we already screwed up <laughs> we already screwed up guys uh, that's funny all right so we're gonna have to battle some trainers unfortunately down here it looks like we're gonna have ourselves a double battle all right not the end of the world here Just four Pokemon. Doesn't look like really good Pokemon either. Phoebus, of course, Phoebus when it evolves is very good, but Phoebus and a Love Disc, nothing we're afraid of here. I think Shockwave should one hit this thing. Hopefully. Oh, wow, that's. Wow, okay. Now, I think that confuses. Yes, it does. So Phoebus using return, how about that? Wow, that's a critical hit. That is a laughing stock right there, guys. Alright, we are gonna shockwave onto Phoebus and faint attack onto Love Disc here. Of course, they're gonna full restore. Well, Shockwave should at least take down Phoebus, I believe. Yes, okay. Easy KO right there, guys. Alright, not a ton of XP right there. Another Phoebus. How about it, guys? Alright, we're going to... Let's try Thunder. Let's just see if it hits. We'll go Faint Attack. Of course, Thunder misses. Flail's not going to do much at all, guys. Water Pulse. Man, that's not even doing much. <sighs> Sablai continues to hurt itself. Of course. Thunder missing again. Go figure. Be nice if we could just get some attacks off. Oh, they're really going after Sablai. Well, at least, at least Sabli snapped out there, so it cannot KO itself. Alright, we're just going to have to heal Sabli, unfortunately, here. I'm going to save my Hyper Potions, just in case we need them for the gym battle. We're going to take down Love Disk right here, once and for all. Alright, easy KO right there. 229, 459 for Dust Tox, guys. And another Love Disc. So they just have copycats of each other. They're just going to continue to cheese with Water Pulse. Alright, we are going to Shockwave and then let's Nightshade onto that thing. Should be KO, assuming we hit both our moves and assuming that thing doesn't use Lovely Kiss or anything like that. Looks like Water Pulse again. On to mine on this time. Hopefully it does not confuse. It doesn't. Water Pulse again. This will probably confuse Sabli knowing our luck. Yep. Of course. Let's see if Sabli hits this time. It did not hit two times before. And this time it chooses to hit. Which is good news for us. As the Love Disc is taken care of. We're going to Shockwave here and Nightshade just in case again, guys. And this should be the battle right here. All right. All 
Easy dub there, guys. Just took a little bit. 10,000 bucks. Maybe it's a good thing we came down here. Man, that is a ton of money. That is crazy, actually, to think of right there, guys. My goodness. Uh, nope, that's not what we hit. All right, we're going to heal up Sabli here. Let's head down. There is another trainer right below us. Another two, it looks like, unfortunately. Ugh. Dun, 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 dun. So we got a love disc. Should be easy here. Hopefully this thing doesn't use lovely kiss. That's the annoying thing about love disc. Is it's not a very good Pokemon. And once again, it's just one of those annoying guys. And thankfully we get the critical hit right there. 471 right there. That is a pretty decent chunk of change. All right. One more trainer, and we should be able to go up now and be all right. I think we, we're going to figure out the puzzle the next time up there, guys. All right, just a simple Goldeen here. Minon is back at it. This this might not be a bad thing that Minon is getting all this XP, so probably during the gym battle it will level up again, which is really good news for us. It'll, it'll only make... Minon more powerful prior to this gym battle. We're going to quick attack here to get the easy KO. All right. 475 right there again. 3,200 too. We're getting a ton of money, guys. Let's just go in here. Let's use just one more potion. Oh, you know what? Let's just go super potion. What the heck? All right, we are healed up back to normal. We are fresh and ready to go. Let's see if we can't get up to one this time. All right, got one down. Let's go across here. All right. So this one, I think what we wanna do is go this way. Just make sure we get everything done yep i think we're doing it right this time guys yes it looks like we'll be all right up here and then around and yes we are ready to take down leader one guys i don't even think i've made an overlay i'm so excited to dive in i'm gonna have to make a quick one again after this battle if we win it oh man Guys, this is for the last gym in Hoenn. This allows us to get to Evergrande. He's got five Pokemon. Go Minon. Minon is going to do Shockwave right off the bat. Probably won't be a KO, but it'll get at least to the yellow. All right. That could be... That could prove to be costly. Now, hopefully we don't fall for the Attract... So Minon fell in love, guys. We're going to try Spark here just for the sake of power play. And Minon doesn't fall for it. That should be a KO right there. And it is, guys. Good news. Good start to the battle. No damage. One KO already. Dustox level 40 right there. All right. So Whiskash is coming out. Now, we're going to throw out Delcaddy here. Um, the only reason because Minon is electric type. Whiskash, of course, you guys know we have Whiskash. Uh, water ground typing electric will not do anything to Whiskash. We're going to do double edge here, and we are still faster than Whiskash. Delcaddy proving to be a very solid Pokemon right now. Um, now, Whiskash is pretty bulky. Would have liked that to have, to have done a little bit more damage than that. And it seems like a common theme now of all the Hoenn gym leaders is spam earthquake, right? Even if you're not a ground type gym leader. Um, and you can see right away, right there, we got smacked by that earthquake. We're going to send Sabli out here, do a quick fake attack, or fake out, not fake attack, excuse me. So Whiskash will now faint. Let's do faint attack here. Whiskash is going to rain dance. Now any type of water moves, guys, will gain more power, but Thunder also cannot miss now. So that may actually hurt one in the long game here. Let's just do a Nightshade here. He's going to Hyper Potion, so he's going to get all his HP back. That's what stinks. And Rain Dance may not stay up for a good amount of time now. We kind of we, we want to 
get through this thing as quickly as possible because we want that rain to stay up for the thunder. We want to be able to hit our thunders, guys. And this thing is going to use Amnesia, making it special defense, I believe, Raze. Okay, so Fan Attack won't be any doing any less damage, guys, because it is a physical attack, not a special attack. And you know what? I think we're going to I think we're going to keep Nightshade in because I think Nightshade did just a tad bit more. Hopefully Sablight doesn't take too much damage from that. And it looks like Sablight held on pretty good right there, to be honest with you guys. All right. Just got to hope he doesn't Hyper Potion again. That would be really annoying. Whiskash, gonna Earthquake once more. Hopefully Sablight can hold on. And she can't, unfortunately. All right. Well, you know what? Two could play at that game. We also have ourselves a Whiskash. Same level as well. The rain stopped, unfortunately, though. Just trying to think what would do more damage here. Probably Earthquake, I'm guessing. Especially because they... And that was a good call. Because they used Amnesia, and I forgot about that. So if we use Surf, Special Defense would have already been up. Um, they're going to go Celio here. Let's just... Let's throw out mine on. See if we just can't get a Thunder off. I kind of feel like we could one-hit KO this thing if we landed a Thunder. Oh, and we landed it. Let's see. I, it's going to be close. Celio is pretty bulky. Oh, look at that. Critical hit. Now, I don't know if that, if that would have KO'd without the crit. That's one thing for sure. 589, level 42 for mine on right now, guys. Juan's toughest Pokemon will be... Um, it will be his Craw... Uh, not his Crawdon, excuse me. His... Kingdra, guys. Now, the reason we're sending out Dustox here is because Crawdon is also a dark type as long as a water type. Um, dark is weak to bug type. And we're also going to outspeed this thing. So, Dustox really proving to be a really solid addition, guys. Now, Dustox's stats sometimes can go up as well from that move. So, Dustox fell for the taunt. So we can't, we can't use moves such as Protect and stuff like that anymore, even though we don't have it, that don't do any damage. Like, we couldn't use Toxic on this thing right now. So you can see, guys, right there, Dust Tox is all of its stats going up, guys. Look at that. That is why Silver Wind is such a valuable attack. Now, we're going to get hit by Crab Hammer. And that doesn't even do that much. How about this, guys? Dust Tox really proven to be a great Pokemon. I told you guys Dustox was going to come along and it was going to do some work towards the end of this playthrough. And you guys can see it right here. Look at that damage right there. Another Silver Wind should do it on this Crawdon. How about it? That is insane, guys. Dustox going to work. 1482. We're going to keep Dustox out there, honestly, because its speed stat has already gone up by one. And its stats in general. If we can get one more hit off on this thing. Just do some some kind of damage. I mean, that's pretty decent. This thing is a dragon type, guys, as well as water type. So we're going to need... Um, electric is not going to be super effective. We're going to need all the help we can get here. Unfortunately, Toxic misses. Ice Beam is going to hurt, I'm pretty sure. Wow, and Dustox held on, and we land the Toxic. So even if Dustox faints now, guys... And I don't think Juan has full restores. He is going to face that poison status problem as he continues to waste turns with his double team. Guys, we look like we are going to be in the driver's seat here for badge 8. We're going to side beam onto this thing because our special attack rose. Look at that. Decent damage. We will take that. And if this thing keeps double teaming over there, every turn Toxic gets more and more powerful by, I believe, 1 8th. So every time if that this uh, Kingdra here, is, as we are hitting again on triple double team, is going to continue to lose more and more HP. Now, unfortunately, I did not know that it had uh, rest. That is going to that is going to hurt. And look at that! It it can wake up because of the berry, the Chesto berry. So Juan is pretty slick over there. But we're going to toxic this thing once more. Now, Toxic in Gen 3 had 85 accuracy, guys. So we are lucky that's hitting with a triple and now quadruple double team. Oh, my goodness. So same strategy here, guys. We are going to go hit that side beam and just hope this thing. Uh, you can see now we're missing because of that. Now five double teams. That's going to hurt down the road. But the good news is, guys, Shockwave, remember, Shockwave cannot miss. That's the good news about this now. 
and you can see we are just missing left and right guys my goodness we cannot make this stuff up here let's just use a quick hyper potion here now sabli if i revive sabli guys we can at least get nightshade out there and if we get if we keep the poison on this thing and it doesn't rest up we could really do some serious work And you can see nothing is landing on this thing, and he's just gonna spam. He's just gonna spam uh, rest, guys. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna we're actually gonna switch in. Let's just switch into mine on. Let's just see if we can't get maybe a thunder off while Kingdra is asleep. Okay, so thunder missed there. Gotta hope Kingdra stays asleep for like three turns. That would be like ideal. So that was one turn. Of course, Thunder's not going to hit now, and Kingdra wakes up already, which I find just to be kind of stupid. Oh my goodness. Okay, so not that much damage. We're going to land a Thunder right here. Now, guys, remember, it won't be super effective because of the dragon typing. All right, so another double team. So we, guys, that's six double teams now. We're going to have to Shockwave here. We're left with no choice. I think Thunder has 60 accuracy just by itself. Um, not worth the risk. We're going to get water pulsed here. That's going to hurt more because of the stab. Oh, this is tough. But I think we're going to have to hyper potion, honestly. And we're going to get ice beamed here. Hopefully it's not a critical hit. And not too bad there at all. We're going to shockwave here again. All right. If we get a critical hit next time, guys, be ideal. A critical hit right here would end it, I think. Oh, oh, so close, guys. Hopefully, Water Pulse doesn't get us right here. Uh, and unfortunately, it does. That's what stinks. We're going to throw Torkoal out there. We're going to burn a revive here. We don't care if Torkoal um, faints or not right now, guys. We got nine revives left, so we got some time. Minon is back, and it doesn't even look like he's going to be potioning right now. All right. So perhaps if we if we throw Minon out there again, and we just Shockwave one more time, could we get this 8th badge, guys? We're going to... Guys, we have got our hands on the 8th badge of Hoenn. The Scrubs have done it! We're head never grande. That's what I say. We have taken down one, guys. We have defeated the Hoenn Gym Challenge with these scrub and dub dubs, guys. It is a time of celebration right now. All the triumphs and the tribulations we have gone through, we have done it. And we are going to be on the road for. Ever Grande City with our rain badge. We're going to be able to use Waterfall, guys. It is official. Eighth gym badge. Let me just pause here, guys, so I can make the overlay. And I'll be right back, I swear. <laughs> All right, guys. Look to the right. We have filled up that overlay. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight badges now. We can use Waterfall. We can get up to Evergrande City. We got TMO3. We got Water Pulse, guys. Probably won't ever use that. We got Wands, Number, and the Pokenav. Guys, we are ready to advance to Victory Road and eventually the Elite Four, guys. Unreal. Didn't really think we'd ever be able to accomplish this with the scrubs we have. But guys, we, pinch me if I'm dreaming. It should say certified trainers. Branded is on the list. Guys, we're ready to head to Evergrande. Ah, that's what I say, man. We did it our way with the scrubs to Evergrande. We're going to heal up and park it, guys. Unreal that we did this. I am so excited, guys. I don't know about you, but the road is not over yet. We are going to still see the fiercest competition ahead we cannot let our foot off the gas here, guys. Until next time, we're going to park it here. So long, guys.